Hello! Today, I'm following on from a couple of videos that I've done recently, I'm going to try and make a medieval style knife. So recently I've done a spoon and a fork in this sort of older style of eating implement. And so today I'm going to try and make a knife. Let's see how it goes. Let's just get straight into it. It should be noted that I am not a knife maker. So, this is probably not the best way to make a knife. This is also just mild steel. So I'm not going to heat treat this really, as it's only going to be a cutlery knife. So it doesn't really have to be that sharp. Or at least, that's my thinking. Maybe it should be, I don't know. I'm just putting a little point on it. These knives tend to be pointy. So, I think the preform is always important to get that material where I want it from the start before I begin to spread this out. I've got a bit of a point on it now, so I'm going to isolate off a section which I'll then spread into the knife, I think. I don't really know how much material to take. I'm guessing that that looks a decent amount. Might be too much, I don't know. We'll find out. So one of the important bits on a knife is the little, the sort of 90 degree bit before the blade. So I'm gonna try pull this material out to create that little loopy bit where your finger comes up against the knife. But we'll see if I have enough material here. Hopefully I do. I've done quite a lot of hammering just to get this to a nice shape. It's quite long, as you can see, but I think that's all right. You know, cutlery knives tend to be quite long. And as I said, they're not that sharp, weirdly. I mean, maybe they should be, I don't know. I'm just basing this off a normal eating knife, but they're making it nice and old looking style thing. So it is just mild steel. I think I will grind a bit of a bevel on it, but then heat it up and make it all scaled up again so it looks all forged, which is a bit of a cheat, but I think if I spread this material anymore, it'll then be wider than this and then it won't be the right shape and it'll look bad. As I said, I'm not a knife maker. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it is mild steel, so it won't really harden very much. So I, I think I will quench it in water and it might make it a little bit harder. We'll see. It probably won't do anything, but it's better than nothing. So I've heated it back up. I'm just gonna go over those areas where we've ground and those, those marks from the grinder will just fade into each other and go away. Working on the handle, I'm gonna knock these corners off so it's not a sharp square, so it's more comfortable in the hand probably. Cut it off the main bar. I'm just going to put a little twist in this end, I think. A bit further down. Just on the very end of the handle.
The piece is finished, so I'm heating the blade. It's about an orange, and I'm going to quench it in that water there, which hopefully, hopefully this is going to get hard, but I don't know, we'll see. I doubt it will, really. I've got a file, so let's see if this is actually hard. It doesn't look like we've got any martensite on the surface, so I'm guessing it isn't, and it is mild steel, so it probably isn't anyway. No, that's digging in, so it's not really hard. But I mean, when you look at a cutlery knife anyway, they are blunt so it doesn't really need to hold an edge. I don't understand why they are. Like, they should be sharp, really, you know, it's in a knife. But anyway, it's still nice. Little thing, I'll oil it, and then I'll do some close-ups of it so you can see it a bit better. As I said, I'm not a knife maker. If you wanted a nice durable blade that will last a long time, that you should have, I should have used a high carbon steel, heat treated it, tempered it properly to get a really durable edge on it, rather than mild steel. Mild steel doesn't really get hard. It isn't a tool steel, that, you know, a knife making steel. But anyway, it was a fun little thing to do. It was just to match the style of the spoon and the fork that I've done in previous videos as this sort of medieval cutlery set. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.